So today we're gonna to do something that we haven't done on this channel in a while. Hopefully I can get some new parts put in there. Uh, fix up the cooling system so we can finally start tuning it because uh, the old system wasn't working. There's just not enough room. I can't use this fill cap because I can't use the expansion tank because as you can see, it's not hooked up to anything. That heater hose is supposed to go to the old BMW heater stuff back there, but as you can see, um, for those of you guys who are familiar with like the GS and the anything that had like the uh, NA versions of the 2J, all the heater stuff was on that side. So things just didn't really line up. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to erase all of this. Um, get rid of that cheap little gate hose put a new aluminum radiator in and then we're also going to put in uh, the chase bays radiator filler neck so but before we do that it's one thing we got to do all right cool so now we can start so Alright, so I picked up an all aluminum radiator from uh, CSF. It's hopefully, uh, it handles the heat. I have no idea what does and doesn't work for cooling this. I just know that this was a more budget friendly option than spending the like four to five hundred dollars on the radiator that Chase Base has set up uh, for sale. Uh, nothing against Chase Base, I just wasn't ready to put that much money into it just yet. Um, but I did get their inline filler neck. Uh, Chase Bays has started taking over everything in this car. Quick rundown, Chase Bays. Chase Bays. Chase Bays. Oh, Chase Bays. Right back there, Chase Base brake line. Oh, wait. More Chase Base. And then underneath the car, there's a Chase Base clutch line going to the transmission. So, they've been a really good company. Um, not sponsored by them, or I don't have any professional relationship with them. I just buy a lot of their shit now. Um, so, but before we can get this in, we got to get the old stuff out.
see we got the factory BMW cooling system out. Um, probably the cleanest cooling job I've done. See, just barely any spills. This is honestly probably like the 17th, 18th time I've had to change the cooling system on an E46. Um, plastic's plastic and that's, that's what happens. But I digress. So now that that's out, let's see about getting this one set up. We got a couple pieces we gotta take off for that. Put onto here. I did take it out of the box once already. Um, I had to get AM fittings welded on as opposed to the old PM dial, uh, BMW style push connectors that you see over there. But, oh man, it already has the mounting screws too. That's, that's legit. Looks like fan shroud points on this side. So I'll probably pull that backing plate over too and just not run any of the plumbing to it. But other than that, it's typical uh, CSF radiator. Jump the gun just a little bit. Sorry about that guys. Uh, had to go clean this off some and then I had to help my daughter with some of her homework. Uh, this, I don't know about you guys, but we're still doing homeschooling or distance learning here. And I'm not a huge fan. I have a lot of, I have a pretty big appreciation for teachers after this. I don't know how much this is going to work or if it's going to work. It doesn't appear so. Bolt holes aren't lining up, but I do want to keep this because without it, I can't mount the fan. All right, got it. So basically, all I did was widen out this a little bit, bring it down some so that it all lines up down there. Needs to be in there to help seal it up if it goes in there. So when I took it to get welded, I asked him to get it as close as he could to the end tank. It's a little bit further out than I wanted. See if you guys can get a better profile shot. Yes, yeah, so I was hoping it'd be down here. I don't know anything about welding, so I don't know if he couldn't, you know, put his welds on top of the previous welds. But either way, it's not that big of a deal. Should drop on there just fine. So I'm trying to start up here this time.
There we go. That looks like it's sitting pretty snug. So, I still need to get the end caps for the plastic end pieces, I believe. So we'll throw those on there. All right, so we got all the plastic that we're gonna reuse put back on there. Let's go ahead and toss this back into the car and we'll see, hopefully everything finishes out the way it should have. Fans in, really tight fit. It'll come a little bit closer once I move this bolt out and put it through. I mean, I'm probably just gonna send it for now. I'd rather have somewhat of an option than not having a fan. If it doesn't work out or if that wire catches and rips out, I can always just get a slimline fan from like Mishimoto and put it up there or reroute this and put a, a pusher fan on this side. So at the end of the day, I'm not too upset about this. Uh, I'd consider this a win. Now it's just a matter of closing up the cooling system and then hopefully we can finally get this shit tuned. So, all right guys. That's all I have for today. So, once again, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, share. Uh, Costs you nothing, but it helps me work towards getting to a point where I can finally monetize and start adding more money to do stuff like this and the Cleveland and the LS. Um, right now, I'm doing it purely just off of like my military salary and then my wife working. So... Thanks. I appreciate it.